Shabby. Beats gas station coffee, that's for sure. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Welcome back to another video in the PNW on some random adventures. This is Labor Day weekend and we are heading to Oregon. Caleb, Catherine, and I are on a road trip to Oregon, Labor Day weekend. And, uh, yeah, get the flip out of my camera. <laughs> Completely, uh, what's the word? This is gonna be this is gonna be an ADHD video. <laughs> Just full randomness, weekend adventures, weekend sins, road trip, four day weekend, Labor Day weekend. Let's get it. This is about to call you over that. Makes good. Good thing I have these glasses on, cause it's so bright out here, sunny. Look at this. Oh. Oh, you gonna pluck out one of the hundred in there? Yeah. That's just signs different. of wisdom, dude. Silvers. You Me and Caleb just too. turned 30. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. We're getting white hairs, man. See? The sadness of getting old. Look at the car right now. We are packed to the brim. Absolutely, completely full. We're making a trip down to the Oregon area, along the coast, around Tillamook, Cannon Beach area, just to hang out. But currently, right now, we are still in Washington, and we're kind of exploring around the Mount St. Helens area right now, so... There she is, the beautiful Mount St. Helens. Kind of a cloudy day, so she's not really poking out, but. Oh, did I? It doesn't even look real, dude. It's from the whole valley. Crazy to think at one point, man, the whole side of the mountain just. Blew just blew up. This would be the perfect rock skipping water right now. Let's go skip some flipping stones, dude. Yeah, Show us how it's done, Catherine. Yee. Ooh. Okay. What the? Literally, even the flat ones you pick them up in there. Round. Your hand would slowly disappear from view. The lake seemed as lifeless as the surrounding grave when left alone, without further pollution, will automatically clean them. Undetected by casual crew. Just finished checking out Mount St. Helens and now we're heading to get seafood. <coughs> we got a South. couple options. We got some rivers we can go to. We got some rivers, some lakes. We're gonna go get some lunch. Don't know where, but it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna go eat. Let's keep the day rolling. Yep, it's gonna be great when we go eat today. I don't think we're eating yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna go, go to some lakes and some in rivers. About half an hour. Go check out some cool Can't spots. Can't wait! I'm so hungry. We're definitely not eating anytime soon. Yeah. Now we are down south of Portland, Oregon, a spot called High Rocks Park, Gladstone, Oregon. It's a little swimming hole, so. So we decided not to jump into that place that you guys just saw because we ended up seeing a massive rat running on the shore of the river and the water was just kind of nasty. So we said, forget that. But now it is actually the next day. Like I said, it's gonna be super random video. We are at a new river spot. It's a much cleaner river today. This is along Highway 6 on the way out to Tillamook in Oregon. It's a beautiful, beautiful river spot. And we're gonna be posting up here today. We got our chair set up right next to the river. There's like a 30 foot bridge right there that we can typically jump off of. So we'll probably do some jumps today too. Maybe some back clips. Pretty solid little cliff jumping opportunity. Beautiful swimming hole. Okay, quick update. We actually found a beach spot and we chose to move over here. It's just a little bit further away from the bridge, but still along the river. Beautiful river. But this beachy spot just much better for chilling. It's gonna be a good relaxing day in the sun. 
by a beautiful river in Oregon. Doesn't get much better than that. I should go help Catherine move some of this stuff. <laughs> Need some help there, Missy? Yeah, after I have it all on my back. Let me take a load off you. Gonna move on over to the sandy beach. Arctic cooler. I'm not sponsored, so I don't go buy anything. I'm not sponsored yet. All right, it is already so hot, so we're gonna jump in, cool off. It's a beautiful little like swimming hole right here. Perfect little jumping in spot. It's beautiful. Look at this. It was so good. So refreshing. Whew. Time has come. Time to go do some cliff jumping off the bridge. It's also a little rope swing they have it's tied up to the bridge too. There it is. You can see the rope swing hanging down. Found a little friend. I don't think he even saw me. I spooked him. <laughs> All right, we're walking over and up to the bridge and then down to the rope swing. There's Caleb way down there. I imagine it's probably about 30, 35 feet or so. There's the rope swing. It's getting beautiful out here, I love it. Aloha! Grab this rope swing, do a couple jumps on that, get warmed up. And then we'll be going up to the big guy. You have to grab this rope swing with this stick. Uh. 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 The rope is acquired. You swing off this way, into the pond. I need these guys to come over and film me doing this. Come on over, little ones. My hair right now, dude. What is happening? <laughs> hair is getting nuts. You want it or what? I'm past the torch. To you. Wow. And yeah, we'll send one. Good luck. And I'll come back up and film. You guys doing it, huh? Yeah. Now this looks scary. Hi, right, man. Phew. I'm a little nervous. I got butterflies in here, dude. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'm gonna rope swing in a minute. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little scary. I barely got around, dude. You're like, you. <laughs> I barely, I barely got around on that. Got so much water up my nose, landed right on my cheeks. All right, Caleb's turn. You okay? 
What happened? My leg flip on that crap. What? The walk of shame. <laughs> Just, oh, flip! <laughs> yeah, there's not much torque on that swing. It doesn't really like propel you that well like to do a backflip. I was kicking my legs and everything just to get around. I was really working for it. You going? I'm scared. I don't want to do it anymore. Stop it. Don't you hear it. I'm leaving you. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm scared. No, you can do it. We believe. <laughs> Dude, I can't do this. No. <laughs> you. She like <laughs> you're like running into the water. Just, <laughs> just running like this. That was hilarious. That was good. You. Yeah. Good job. Well done. That was awesome. You going again? All right. Round two for Caleb. See if he doesn't face plant this time. There it is. Much better. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, I'm going to walk back over and then we'll probably go to the top. The big guy. Getting prepped for the big dude. I'm going to give this to you, Catherine. I think you film from down there. You can stay there. I'll come down to you, hand it to you. Probably where you were before is the best spot, like down there. Here you go, it's still on. Got it? Dude, it looks so much bigger right now for some reason. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. It's Catherine. We're out here on the Wilson River. You could put that in. I just jumped in twice, smacked my yiddies on the second one, but that's okay. Sometimes that's just the way that life kind of has to be. I'm, I'm talking. They make it down in one piece. They are my ride home. That's a big one. I be. That is a big jump, man. Jump from way up yonder. Oh, I'll yeah. get your heart rate up, man. Get your adrenaline going. Ugh. Woo! <laughs> it's so fun, but scary at the same time. It feels cool once you do it. Well done, brother. It's high enough to where right before you enter, you can hear the wind in your ears. Just and then smack, you're hitting the water because it's so high. You guys are like little seals. <laughs> All right, now it's time to go back to our chairs and relax, get dried up, just enjoy the sunshine. That's all I need is one big jump for the day and I'm done, go hang out in the sun. I'm getting too old to do that jump more than once. All right, it's food time and kill up here. Has a whole daggum kitchen set up out here. <laughs> Look at this guy. I would do it, baby. Just got the Coleman grill set up on the rocks. And we're gonna cook up some chicken sausages. Sausage we're gonna guy. be feasting out here on the river. <laughs> Thank you. 
How do you feel about that feast coming? Excited. <laughs> Look pretty good. If only you guys could smell this right now too. It smells so good. I cannot wait to grub on this. This guy's chefing it up like always. Serve it on up there, buddy. What do you want? Just yeah. Give me all the veggies. Mushroom. Holy dude! Get wrecked! Get wrecked, dude! I got just flew right onto you, man. Lunch is subbed. <laughs> What's the first impressions? I can't taste it, I just burnt my tongue. <laughs> How is it? Oh, uh, too hot to even grab them right now. Bon Appetit. That's good. Might have burnt them a little bit, but sometimes crispy sausage is good, man. All right, Caleb and I are exploring up and down this river. And I'm gonna try to climb up this and then backflip off, hopefully. I think I should be able to get up there. Send it. You. That was awesome. Successful. So much fun out here. All right, we're starting to pack up to get out of here. We got to still make it to the coast this evening. Catherine just got stung on the butt by a bee. Now she's icing her butt cheeks in the river. <laughs> But I think before we leave, Caleb and I have to have a little skip off, a little skipping stones competition here. And then, uh, then we'll be out of here. Okay. That was terrible. Hopefully they can even see it on the GoPro. Yeah. Oh, that was you a good get one. Get out of my way, dude. You get a way better position than me. <laughs> Oh, it's too steep. That was a good rock, too. I wasted it. Ooh, oh, flip! That? Ooh, let's go, dude. That was too many. Go! Okay. Oh. oh. Too steep. Good money. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, flip. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh. That was the best one. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. We got some good ones in there, man. All right, you guys let us know. Who skipped better? Me or killed? I have to leave this glorious spot, unfortunately. But we'll be making our way over to the Oregon coast. And we have a campground over there tonight where we'll be staying. And we have a campground tomorrow night as well along the coast, so. It's been a glorious day here on the river, but we do have to keep it moving. And we have some amazing adventures ahead of us on the Oregon coast, so. Let's keep this weekend going.
we have made it to the campground. This will be home for the night. We are right on the heart of the Oregon coast. The beach is literally like a three minute walk that way. And we're already in a marine layer. You can see it's just foggy and cloudy. Just classic coastal vibes. This is gonna be a good, good next couple of days camping here. We got our firewood for tonight. This is gonna be awesome. I love coastal camping so much. I love the Oregon coast so much. I'm looking forward to this. Get us, get us. Look at these two losers. Ooh. Like they like each other or something. This will be home for the night. Here goes Catherine, chefing it up again. What are you making? Chicken shawarma and euros. Oh my. If you guys saw my video from camping in Oregon with these two, oh yeah. we made this weekend. dish and it was delicious. I can't wait. Oh man. Dude. <laughs> well, Captain. Thanks. <laughs> How was it? Good. Okay. For eight years before it's cold. Okay. Oh my! It's already prepped. Would you look at that? Dude, it's like raining, bro. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Pretty dang good. Dessert time. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Gosh, I'm gonna tell you. 160. Let's go. <laughs> Matter of fact, I had two. <laughs> They're so moist. You know what these are so called? So good. Um, Just finished Din Din. I'm uh, doing a little post meal walk down to the beach from the campsite. This, this campground is literally right on the beach. You can just walk there from the site. It's pretty sweet. Let's go see the beach. Wow, this is so rad. This is pretty sweet, huh? It's so beautiful. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> the Pacific Ocean. The tide is way out right now. 
It's cold, man. Freezing, man. Imagine go plunging in, dude. The water is freezing. I don't think so, bro. <laughs> Take it us. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I feel like a little kid. This is epic. So cool. <laughs> It is getting dark. Time to head back to the campsite and make a fire, man. Let's go. It's like the perfect setting for a nice campfire. Foggy, misty, along the Oregon coast. Yes, please. <laughs> Little little update. Just got into my tent and a thunderstorm just rolled in off the ocean. And so now it's lightning and thunder. It's probably gonna start raining soon. So, uh, we might be in for a long night. You guys might be able to hear the thunder. There it is. Hear that? Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. We got the rain fly on, so we should stay dry, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to get some shut eye though. See you guys in the morning. Sunday morning, Oregon coast. Now it's time for our morning run. We're gonna walk out to the beach, do a nice little run down the beach. Don't know how far yet, but probably two, three, maybe four miles. Start the day off right. <clears throat> As you can tell, we're super excited. <laughs> Just got back to the campsite for my run. I'm gonna go take a shower because this campground actually have showers. So I'm gonna hand this GoPro over to Caleb while he makes some coffee. This will be his first little uh, his first little segment of making coffee for the YouTube. He's already got it going pretty good. He's got the water in the pot. I'm gonna pull it up. We should coffee mug. So uh, it's in the car. I'm gonna hand this over to him. And this will be his little segment of making coffee. Back at it I'll again, y'all. So, welcome to the show. All right, y'all. Got the water. It's almost to a boil here. Filling up some uh, coffee filters. Got Josh's filled up already. Doing mine now. Extra scoops for me. You know how we do it. Pretty soon, like Josh says, right, we'll have some glorious cups of coffee on the way. Give that a smell, baby. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even drink coffee and she loved that. I was mimicking Josh. You were making fun of Josh? It smells he good. He does love his coffee though. It does smell yeah, good, it right? It does smell good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She'll come around one of these days. Probably not. All right, we'll make you some tea. Mm -hmm. All right, water has come to a boil. It's hot, it's ready to go. We'll do Josh. Actually, we'll do Josh in a second, huh? He's in the shower. Do mine first. Yeah. Seriously right now, dude? Jeez, <laughs> my whole filter just broke, just fell over. Hey y'all, had a little miss out there, but we're back on track. It's gonna be all right. Switch out the filters. Here we go. Yeah. Looks 
set the boil a whole other thing of water for Josh. I, I need more water now. Ugh. We'll make it through. Can't beat that. It's a vibe. Alright, we got another pot of coffee going. <laughs> Alright, we got another pot of water going to a boil. <laughs> Dude, just, I'm just looking at you. Just we got another pot of water going to a boil here. Dude. Baby's watching me. <laughs> we got another pot of water coming to a boil here for Josh. He's in the shower. Should be out any minute. This stuff's ready to go. My coffee's here. And that's all that matters. Is that right, baby? Yes. And. All right, dude. This vlogging stuff, dude? Yeah, not it, not it, dude. Insane. All right, got my cup of coffee here. Baby's gonna try it first. No. Oh, all right. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. If anyone needs a book recommendation and you're in a little bit of a book slump. Exploration visuals. Must read. Right here, right now, anytime, anywhere. You heard it here first. <sighs> All right, water is back to a boil. Josh is nowhere to be found, but he'll have a lukewarm cup of coffee for him when he's back. Here we go. You lift it. Hey. That's that good, good. Hey, look who's back from his shower. Kind of like having a shower at the campground. Coffee's ready to go, man. I don't know, man. I trust you making the coffee. Well, I had one spill already, but we made it happen. We got through it. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, dude. It's not too shabby. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Beats gas station coffee, that's for sure. Yeah, dude. Coffee has been devoured. Now we're gonna head on over to Cannon Beach. Do a little shopping, maybe go to Moe's, get some fish and chips, a little clam chowder. We are back to our campsite. We just spent most of the day in Cannon Beach area. Did a little shopping, a little sightseeing up there. And now we are back at the campground. But as you can see, it is wet. It has been raining all day long, nonstop. My tent is completely soaked. Everything's completely soaked. The table soaked, everything just super wet. So we haven't been doing very much. Just kind of hunkering down, staying underneath our little cabana and trying to stay dry. That's all we've been doing really. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it has been raining a lot more than what was expected. We originally checked the weather, it was supposed to just rain for like a couple hours and it was going to pass over, but now it's been raining pretty much all day long. So, so we're just trying to make the most of it, trying to make the best of it, and hoping that the rain will stop soon, and hopefully tomorrow will be a lot sunnier. But, so that is the update for right now, we're not doing much, we're kind of just hanging out, hunkering down and trying to stay dry. <laughs> I'll check back in with you guys if we decide to go do something fun or if the rain stops and we go do something. But as of right now, there's not much to film because we're just taking shelter. <laughs> okay. Got all the cabanas out. Mm -hmm. Fire going. Little cooking station under this one. It's wet, but we're trying to make the best of it. Staying dry the best we can and still trying to enjoy a good little camping trip. This fire though, lifesaver. Oh my goodness. 
This is a good dust. We got the marine layer rolling back in, getting pretty foggy again. Just classic moody, moody coastal vibes, Oregon coast vibes, man. If you ever thought about camping along the Oregon coast, this is pretty much the epitome of it. <laughs> but if you have good company, still blast. Tacos are nearly ready. Gonna be scrumptious. Got a little hospital light going too. <laughs> this is uh, the reality of camping sometimes, man. You don't get the best of weather, situation's not the best, but try to make the most of it. At least we'll still be eating good. Some steak tacos on the menu. Bone apple tea. Cheers. That's the dinner. Oh baby, steak tacos. Night number two. The rain has finally stopped. The stars are now out. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get some sunshine. But for now, we're getting some shut eye. See you guys in the morning. You guys know the drill. Let's make some coffee. You want some coffee, man? Yep. <laughs> it did rain again a little bit last night. So we've had two nights in a row of pretty much just getting soaked all night long. <laughs> I guess that's what you risk when you camp on the coast. That is the epitome of Oregon coast weather. Is the marine layers, the mist, the rain just comes with the territory but that was our last night so today we'll be packing up and moving north but first like Caleb said we need a cup of coffee So yesterday when we were at Cannon Beach, I went to the Sleepy Monk Coffee Roastery and got me some of their coffee beans. This is the Dark Guatemalan Organic Coffee. If you're ever in Cannon Beach, try this place out. This coffee is fantastic. I'm stoked to have a cup of it this morning. I first found this coffee place a few years ago when I was here visiting Cannon Beach. Tried it out, so good. It's, it's such good coffee. Sleepy monk. Don't sleep on it. Cheers. That's some good coffee right there. <laughs> it 
is about that time that we have to start getting packed up and heading back north. So Caleb and I are getting the campsite cleaned up. This is what it looks like before. And to this. We are absolutely packed to the brim. This is what it looks like when you have a three day camping trip weekend with three people. We can't even get the door to close. We might have to squeeze this in there a little more. <laughs> We're out of here. We decided to spend the rest of the day hanging out in Cannon Beach. Haystack Rock way down there. The sun is finally out. It's gonna be a beautiful day, man, just hanging out on the beach. We are back in Washington. As you can tell, I am now back in my house. I forgot to do an outro. I was so busy just traveling home, driving, got home, was super tired. Just forgot to do an outro altogether. But now I'm sitting here doing some reading. And I also remember that I forgot to do like a little Bible thought of the day. So I figured I would just end this video with a quick Bible thought of the day. And then we'll see you guys in the next one. So I'm just sitting here reading out of the book of Job. And something that stood out to me during my reading today is the fact that we cannot claim sinless lives but we can claim forgiven lives. So this is kind of similar to my last Bible talk when I was at Rainier. Yes, we are sinners. We cannot claim to be sinless because we are humans and we are inherently sinful, but we can claim forgiven lives. So when we do make mistakes and we do sin, we can just ask God for forgiveness, accept his gift of forgiveness fully, and then we are forgiven. It says once we have asked God for forgiveness, we are forgiven indeed, that he just forgives us right then and there and then our conscience can be clean. We can just move forward with a clean conscience and continue to move forward and spread the kingdom of God and be the hands and feet and be vessels for his kingdom. We don't have to sit and wallow in our sin and our doubt and our shame. We can just ask for forgiveness and claim a forgiven life through the grace of Jesus and then have a clear conscience and continue to move forward, continue to be the hands and feet, continue to spread the kingdom. And so that's just something that stood out to me today during my reading, we are gonna make mistakes. We are gonna sin, we are gonna fail. That's just inherently what will happen because we are human and we are flesh. We're living in this world. We're not of this world, but we're living in it. And it's full of darkness, full of temptations, full of sin. We are just inevitably going to sin. We're going to fail, but that does not define us. Our sin does not define us. The devil wants to define us by our scars. Jesus defines us by his scars. And so that is the message for today. Claim a forgiven life because you are forgiven once you ask Jesus and once you ask God for forgiveness, you are forgiven. And you can move forward with a clear conscience and continue to fight the good fight and be the hands and feet of, of Jesus, spread his kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. So that was a quick little Bible thought of the day to end this video. We are now home. I am back to reality, back to work for this week. Hopefully going on an exciting new adventure next weekend. Hopefully doing some backpacking soon. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.